Hello everyone, it's Rai Neko or Rai for short. Um, and before this video starts, I just want to put a little bit of disclaimer because I'll be stuttering a lot on this one and I don't really sound that well because I'm kind of sick and I cannot pronounce English words that properly sometimes. Forgive me on this one. Anyway, today we do a tablet review for Galmon. I was contacted to do one, so here we go. This one's model is called Galmon PD1161, a small display tablet about 10 by 6 inches. It's a pretty small boy, and lucky for Galmon, I'm a huge sucker for small display tablets. I love drawing on display tablets more than those that are just pen tablets, mainly because it feels like you're drawing on paper with, by using a screen rather than just looking at the monitor all the time while also being confused how your hand is supposed to work. However, most display tablets I've seen so far are those that are pretty heavy built and basically cannot really fit my workspace. So it's not very convenient to me. But having this tiny display tablet for once was actually a joy to have. In the box, you'd have your usual accessories for a tablet, which is the pen, pen holder, connectors, adapter, manual, and artist glove. Interesting enough, expensive tablet brands, you know what I mean by expensive tablet brands, doesn't really give you the full package of accessories whenever you buy a tablet from them. So Galmon's packaging is really convenient for the customer. Though I'd have to comment that I feel like there's something missing with the package. Display tablets are easy to work with if you have something like a tablet holder that is positioned in a diagonal way so it supports your wrist and your neck so it wouldn't hurt that much. I'm pretty sure Galmon sells tablet holders separately, but I kinda want to suggest that it would be probably better if it's mandatory to have at least a tablet holder along with the entire package. This would probably help first-time buyers a lot, especially if they don't know how display tablets are usually arranged as. Just a thought, Galvan. The installation of the driver is not that difficult. All you have to do is find the driver of the tablet in the official website of Galvan and download it. Then you'd need to manually set it up on your computer with a few clicks and then there you go. Your tablet can work now. You all probably want to know more about how it came out in my end, so without further ado, I will give my drawing review. The color set default doesn't really match my computer. It's much warmer than it should be, and that is not really a big problem since you could fix it up manually with the tablet itself, because there'd be a menu button for this one. <laughs> So you just need to fix it there. I started drawing and I find the screen very pleasant to work with. I have a big preference to smaller display tablets and Gaumon did a really good job with this one. I had no problems with the pressure sensitivity and the calibration and the pen quality for what it's worth is very lovely and doesn't really do damage or scratches on my monitor. On my speed paint, you'd notice that I didn't use any pen pressure for the line art because I'm trying to test how good it would handle the strokes, would the lines look clean despite not having stabilizer on, how accurate does the pen go when I draw lines and stuff. So overall, it actually had a good output and I was really pleased to what I've had. And if I'm really being honest here, Gaumon could be my new best friend for commissions in schoolwork and PMVs cause like it had it was very good. It had very good output. It was smooth to work with and I just love it in general. Okay. This, I genuinely 
appreciate this tablet. This tablet is very good when it comes to convenience. The express keys are easy to press and are enough to have shortcuts and all. And the tablet draws strokes really smoothly and gracefully, and it's really affordable for a screen tablet. What isn't really good about it, however, is that there is no tablet holder to put the tablet on. Galvan, you already have a full set of accessories. Maybe you could add just one more to make it, you know, user-friendly. Also, I really didn't like the fact that it involves a lot of connectors. Uh, it makes my desk look a bit of a mess, but you know, that's just me and my preferences. Overall, it's a very good tablet to have if you want a display tablet, and if you prefer smaller work areas than wider ones. It's light, convenient, and you can bring it everywhere. It only connects to a computer though, so I know you guys use phones and stuff, but yeah, this is a heads up. Anyway, that's it for my review for Gaumon PD1161. And before you ask if I have any tablets to recommend in the comments, I personally recommend this tablet and you'd know why if you've come this far and actually listened to the whole video. Anyway, this is my new tablet now and maybe I'd continue my current workload with it for school commissions and PMVs and what whatnot. Anyway, that's all for it. Now for this video, thank you so much for watching!